All right, today we are here to talk about the new Vent Kids Bash Lamp that was added to the dojo today. It is currently the only way to get the pieces for the Yorelli Warframe, and it is unknown whether anything else will be added to it in the future. However, it does seem like a huge, massive waste if they added a entire lab for one Warframe. Okie dokie, so to start, we will pull up the Dojo Architect. If you search Bash, it'll pull right up. It is labeled the Vent Kids Bash Lab. You can see it is absolutely tiny. It is quite small. However, despite its tiny appearance do not let that fool you because if we go over here on the flip side of my Oricon lab and we try to put it there you'll see that it doesn't fit still uh, it won't even give you the option to build it despite the tiny space that what it would fit perfectly for the room doesn't take a whole lot of energy or capacity oddly enough though it does require the Tenno lab to be built it does give you clan XP so it's probably going to help some clans jump to rank 11 and if I rush it for the video this is the room you'll see that this is the only room besides the dry dock that actually has NPC this poor kid doesn't even have a neck. Uh, this kid's just chilling. Took me a second to notice, but they actually track you with their heads. I have some fun with that later. It kind of helps bring more life to the dojo, I feel like. Um, there's a problem with this that I'll get, in, I'll get into here in a moment. Um, but the room is really small, so I'm not sure what else you would expect from it. So let's get into the lighting. First off, note that as soon as you open the polychrome to change the room coloring, the coloring of the room changes versus its default color scheme that it had just a second ago. I don't know why this is, but we will take a look at primary, secondary, tertiary, accents, and then lights. And then if we look at the lighting, we have key, accent, and then fog is pretty worthless in this room considering you need distance for fog to actually take effect, but we have no distance for it to occur. I'm actually quite pleased that the lighting options in this room actually matter as opposed to rooms like open space, say, where accent is the entire room's coloring and key doesn't matter worth a damn. Now let's talk Talk about red zones because this room is an actual bastard. Uh, there are no red zones by the console or by the door as you would expect. However, there is a red zone with a wide berth near anything that moves in the entire room, which is every vent kid that they've added. I understand the hesitation to let the only NPCs they've added since the dry dock be covered up in masks. However, I do feel like this is simply way too much in terms of red zones. There's basically when you create a room this small, it creates a massive challenge for anyone to decorate it. And anyone who's attempted to decorate their Tenno lab has encountered this. Uh, anyone who's tried to mask the Tenno lab has definitely encountered this. It's uh, quite a challenge to do something that looks good. But what you've done with this room is you've taken the room that was a challenge and then you've made it impossible uh, with the variety of red zones that it already has created by the Vent Kids. It's just not happening. In terms of getting out of bounds, there really isn't much to see above or below or to the side. Um, I do like how this room has a nice, nice fog atmospheric effect in there. Um, that's just there by default. If we could somehow get that fog effect from this room and like be able to place it in the dojo, that would actually be nutworthy. And I think a lot of us would appreciate that. In summary though, it is a tiny ass room that can't be decorated for shit. And I take it as a sign that they're trying to breathe more life into the dojo. Um, if you watched the dojo history video that I just put out a bit ago, uh, you'll recognize that the only time They've added something is by necessity, and so if they're adding an entire dojo lab for one single Warframe and they're starting to add NPCs on there, and that's not for shits and giggles. Uh, there is definitely some reasoning behind this, and I think that I'm, as a dojo decorator myself, I'm going to interpret this as a very good sign, as the plans for dojos are of a wider scope than we had anticipated, and so I think we can look forward to a lot more nifty changes and additions coming in the future for dojos and plans as a whole, I think, but we will have to see. Yes, placeable NPCs, custom spawn points, the Kuva and Cetus decor are all still coming, so for the people that are probably going to mention that as soon as they see NPCs in another dojo room, unclench and hang tight, and you will get what you want. 